Hello everyone, today we will learn how to upload files from Google Sheets to OneDrive. So if you have collected all the files or file links in your Google Sheets and you want them to be uploaded in your OneDrive, so you don't need to do that one by one manually, but you can create an integration between both of these applications using Pabli Connect. In this automation that we are going to create, our trigger will be the new row added in Google Sheets and our action will be to upload that specific file in OneDrive. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how to upload files from Google Sheets to OneDrive. To create such an automation, we will be using Pabli. So let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And from here, we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on Access Now and then you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Upload Files from Google Sheets to OneDrive. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. We will have two windows, Trigger and Action. Now before we move ahead with the creation of the workflow, make sure that you have already prepared a Google Sheet where you are supposed to enter the file URL and the name or the work for which the URL is going to be used and then your Microsoft Office 365 account or your OneDrive account, we can call it that. Now let us understand the functioning of the trigger and action window. So the trigger window is the first application where the event will take place, which will trigger this workflow and make sure that the action application performs the assigned action. Here we have the trigger application as Google Sheets because the trigger event that is going to be performed is going to be new or updated spreadsheet row, which means that whenever this new row will be updated with the new content, the response will be received over here in your Pabli Connect. So let us first of all use this webhook URL that is provided to us by Pabli Connect to connect our Google Sheets and Pabli Connect in such a way that the new information entered over here can be fetched easily by Pabli Connect. So you have to copy this from here and go to your Google Sheets. Go to extensions, click on add-ons over here and click on get add-ons. You have to follow this step that I'm going to tell you right now only if you have never ever connected your Google Sheets and your Pabli Connect. So type over here Pabli Connect Webhooks and you have to install this one. See, I have already installed it so I do not need to install it and when once you are done with this installation, you will get this over here in the menu itself. Now when you next time install it, you have to go directly to Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on Initial Setup. Now Initial Setup is the setup you're going to do to use the Webhook URL. So first of all, paste the URL that you copied from your Pabli Connect workflow and the trigger column is the last updated column. In our case, we have A and B, just two columns. So the last updated column is going to be column B. First of all, submit it. It is submitted. Now when you go back to Pabli Connect, you can see it's waiting for a webhook response. So for that, you need to enter details over here. So I will enter a file URL that I want to upload and then the name or the purpose of this URL. So this is my URL and the name of it is PhD course is the name and the work same for this URL. Now once this is done, we will resume our process of the initial setup. If you remember that we have already entered the webhook URL and the trigger column. The test is submitted. Yes. Now you have to send a test where it is waiting for a response and here we have the response. See, it is received just in front of you. The trigger column was B, the name of the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet ID and then we have the important details that is the name of the file and the link of the file. So we have this over here. Now we will move ahead with our next and the action step that is going to be OneDrive where we need to upload this file. So you have to search in your action application field as OneDrive. So it's Microsoft OneDrive where you want to upload it to. And the event over here is going to be upload a file because we are not creating a file. We already have the file created. We are just going to upload it. Click on connect, add new connection connect with Microsoft OneDrive, it will automatically detect as I told you, we have to keep it open already. So we just have to click on yes to give access to Pabli Connect. Do not worry, it's 100% safe. By giving this access, you can give Pabli Connect the right to command Microsoft OneDrive that whenever a new file or the new content will be uploaded over here. So it is going to be uploaded in Microsoft OneDrive as well. One more thing, when you're done with the initial setup, you have to click on the send on event. It makes sure that every time a new file is uploaded, so every this every time this event takes place, this workflow is going to work. 
Now, once you're done with uploading the file setting as the action event, you have to set the folder list. Now, you have multiple folders over here. You have to choose a folder where you want to upload the file to. So I have created one folder. The name of the folder is files and folders. So if you don't find it directly, you can just type it in over here. This files and folders is the folders where I want it to be uploaded. This is done. What is the file name? You can map it. So mapping is the inserting of data from previous step. So the previous step is the Google Sheet. So you can take this drop down menu as a help. And from here you can choose. So every time a new file is uploaded, a new name will occur and the new name will be uploaded over here. So this is the file name and the file URL again you have to map it from here only. This is done. Now we just have one option of default. So just click on save and send test request and here we have the response. Now the response says the application processed the request but returned a blank response which means that the application has processed the request. The workflow has been a success but we were not able to receive a response maybe because of some technical glitch of that specific application. It could be a problem with Microsoft OneDrive. No need to worry because we can come over here and check our file and folder folder. Let us look for our folder. Yes, here it is. Open this and here we have our file uploaded with the name PHT course and it says that it is uploaded less than a minute ago, which means that our work has been done. So our workflow has been a success. Here we have the trigger application as Google Sheet where we created a sheet where we can upload the content of the file that we want to upload the URL and the name of work. You can design this sheet according to your need. And then the action application where Microsoft OneDrive gets a file uploaded from this Google Sheet. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.